This posty adventure is dedicated to my newest fan, my nephew, Aiden Male. This one's for you. You're a legend, mate. Hey guys, Brent Mail here. People call me the Mailman. I'm a pro photographer traveling around Australia on my little posty bike, finding interesting people who are passionate about what they're doing and telling their stories through my lens. So buckle up and join me on my posty adventures into the unknown. On the previous episode of Mailman's Posty Adventures, I introduce you to my friend Tim. We work on my posty bike, and then I take on a whole new creative endeavor. I try to finish shaping my surfboard. And then Tim shows me how to shape a surfboard like a master shaper. In this episode, we've finished my surfboard. Tim adds the fiberglass and the resin. We figure out where the fins are gonna go, and then I do the final sanding. Bringing you a present, some resin. Now that my surfboard is fully shaped, it's time to add the fiberglass coat to make it hard so that I can actually surf it. The first step is to add the fiberglass cloth, cut it to size, and then add the resin and wait for it to go hard. And the resin's just starting to go off now, it's starting to get hard and he's finishing it off, but oh man, he does a great job. There's definitely an art to glassing so that you don't have too much work afterwards. Amazing to watch. After a few hours, once the resin has set, we turn the board over and do the exact same thing to the top of the board. Add the glass fiber and the resin. I decided I'm gonna go green for the top of my board. So Timmy's taping up the board now so that when we put the the tint into the resin, it won't go to the bottom of the board. So this will be interesting. Are we putting on the, what do you call it to me, a filler coat? which is the resin with a wax styrene additive so that we can actually sand it. And it fills in all the cloth, the little bumps over here, the texture on the board. So that's where we are right now. You can't actually sand down the board the way it is. You need to put the special resin on to get it done. So I'm learning stuff. Yeah, it gives it a nice finished coat. It makes it look really smooth and glassy which is uh, what we want. Got that shine on it. I return the next day after the resin has set and we take on the most difficult part of this whole process. Timmy is looking at the numbers, the quad numbers, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the fin placement on this board and it's super critical. <laughs> Because no, you place them wrong no, and, and the board just doesn't all. perform. It's <laughs> you, not the board. Yeah, well Timmy can surf anything. I can't. I need this done right. <laughs> that's important. I want my fins reasonably straight so I can go faster. And that's the thing about fins. You can put them straight and get all the speed, but then you battle to turn or you can have them pointed towards the nose and you can turn easily but then you sacrifice the speed because yeah. how symmetrical you are well pick it up on your fin placement what are you saying my board's not symmetrical oh no no i'm not gonna let you know gonna... are you judging my shaping i'm gonna tell you how many mil you're <laughs> out or how many mil you're on perfect one mil difference one mil you said that's, you wanted it perfect. That's military spec. That's, I could fly this thing one mil. <laughs> Send it to the moon. Secretly, I think Tim is impressed with my shaping skills, but he'll never admit it. So yeah, 11 and a quarter, and then from the rail, we come in one and an eighth, 
and then we get a dot or a mark and then you string line it to we're going two and a half inch off the nose we're going to make it a bit straighter okay and then we'll do that both sides and then get an average out of the boat in case your shape's not symmetrical so this is what we're doing so we can cut the holes did you get all those numbers there's going to be a test at the end of this video tell you what, there's a lot of skill and precision that goes into getting the fin placement right. I guess years of trial and error has led to me to this kind of procedure for placing the fins. The only reason I drink these iced coffees is because I need the containers and they're the best iced coffees you can buy. We let the resin set for a couple of days. Plugs are in. So now we need to sand this baby down. This is where the real manual labour starts, the sanding of this board, which I'm going to take on. Now the sanding part is hard work. Timmy says it takes him an hour and a half and it'll probably take me six hours to sand this board, I think. <laughs> I may get it to a surfable state and then take it back to him. <laughs> it's, I'm never gonna get there. Work like this, it gets, gets hot and dusty, and I think it's time to quench my thirst. I'm glad um, summer's here, winter's over, finally. So what's happened here is I've over sanded this board and I've gone through to the foam because I wanted to go surf it I was a little impatient and now I've got to take it back to Timmy's house so that he can finish the board off and uh, put another layer of um, glass on it of um, resin because now that the foam's showing I cannot get that wet otherwise the foam will absorb the water so damn it really wanted to take this board out but Timmy says I'm not the very I'm not the first to uh, sand through the fiberglass into the foam and he knew I'd do it and anyway so I'm dropping the board off and hopefully he can fix it for me because I want to get this in the water soon I want to see what it surfs like I want to feel it we're doing one of the final things and it's the finished coat on the board so I've sanded it as best I can I've missed a few spots uh, but I've done a I think I've done a decent job and now we put that final coat on and then we do a final sand and then it's ready to surf so maybe I'll get to surf it in the next day or two hopefully start the day with a coffee cheers bro ah, cheers. <laughs> cheers. cheers Look at it, beauty. Huh? From a piece of foam to that. Ready for sanding again. Yeah. Nice, thank you. So you go. We've done a good good job. Almost ready to surf. I need to go christen it somewhere. Crescent head maybe. This is 1200 grit sandpaper, wet and dry. I've got water on here. So this is the final sanding to make this board really smooth and I'm going to focus on the edges where the water is going to flow down and on the bottom where the water flows across because I want this board to go fast and I think with the less uh, texture on the bottom of the board the faster the water is going to flow but it won't stick to it. So that's what I'm doing now and then I can take it out for its maiden voyage. I may be traveling and take it then 
And look how beautiful this is looking. One last thing to do before I take the surfboard on its maiden voyage, and that's to get my posty bike back on the road. That should do it. On the next posty adventure, I take the green machine on an epic surf road trip up to Crescent Head and take it out for its maiden voyage. <laughs>